Um, and then the cough drops and just little a Purell wipe. Um, these little, I love these, y'all. These little um, toothpicks from Oral B, and that's that will get anything out. Plus, it has a floss. And it smells like mint. <laughs> um, I have two or three of those. And I have one on the other side in case someone says, does anybody have a tooth? Because it's not like you share them, so I'll give it to them. I always keep a list of the drugs that I take in case I'm ever at the doctor's office or if there was an emergency and they said, do you take anything? I would be able to tell them. Um, and I've got like little hydrocode, hydrocortisone. Um, and this is just an anti-itch cream that I kind of keep one of those handy, a Band-Aid. Um, this is kind of cool that I always keep in here. This is a coin that is really a little wrench. So see that little thing on the bottom? You can turn things with it if you ever, because my nails are very weak. So anyway, Benadryl and then one ibuprofen, which I don't really take a lot of ibuprofen once I found out how bad for you ibuprofen is. I don't even know how it's on the market. But anyway, so that's in there, but that's lightweight. I have a little bag of pens, which I don't need. So let's, first of all, let's, Maybe let's get rid of some pens because, oh my gosh, look at all these pens. That's a little on the ridiculous side. So those many pens. This is a pretty pen with the little flamingo. I think that is a, um, it's what I've got on, this Lily Pulitzer. And this cute. It's got the gold name on the sleeve. I like it. But um, it's heavy, so we'll take that out. Oh my God, other pens. I like a ballpoint and this. And that's, that's enough. Two's enough. That's enough. Okay, we'll put those two back. Um, gotta have at least two lipsticks. So I usually have my strawberry red and my rose this is this is chic rose which i do like this but it's very purple especially for this time of year and that's not a good one to have in my purse unless that's what i'm wearing for the day and today i'm actually wearing a pink but there it is rose soft rose and strawberry red i always keep in my purse always keep <clears throat> can't talk hey um hold on a minute can't remember if this is a good one or this is an old one hold on I can tell no um, I always keep the TARDIS which has both a liner crayon liner for your waterline and the pen liner for you know doing a wing I keep that because it's got two in one even though I still I think my all-time favorite because it is thinner is the DHC liquid eyeliner EX DHC liquid eyeliner EX and it's because it's got such a tiny brush that is not a pen that is an actual like artist level brush and it is so thin if you like something really thin now I will say this I've gotten used to from using this the pen liner look how much thicker that is but it does make it look like you have mascara on when you don't have mascara on and I've kind of liked that lately um, I also like having um, this is a brightener and I'm thinking more than a brightener I really kind of like having one of my Chantecais um, is that it? Um, there's no point in having it if it doesn't have a lot in it. This is the Chantecai Le Camouflage Stilo, and it's an anti-fatigue, so it cancels. Is this the right color? 42. Maybe there's only one. It's a pump, and you just put it under where the blue is, and it cancels the blue, y'all. And I feel like I need to do that today. I look very haven't been sleeping well lately and it's really I'll just be honest it's all the unrest I have been very upset about it um, not just because of the violence of course nobody likes the violence but just the the whole issue of, of inequality towards African Americans and then also what to do about it because I don't think they want to be pandered to well most of them don't um, and so it's like okay what do we do certainly for um, the um, the police brutality part of it that's just got to be and Trump did just pass a um, a ban on the chokehold so that's good because that but you still got to have a way for police to protect themselves from violent resistors and so there's got to be a way to protect the police as well because you can't just stick them out there and say hey go do your job and not give them a way to do it so it's a tough tough thing but um, and it's a tough thing to talk about so um, you just have to ask your friends, and I would start there um, with for grace in case you say the wrong thing. And I ask y'all for grace in case I say the wrong thing, because it's not my desire to be prejudiced or to say anything prejudiced. So, um, and I don't think that should ever be the desire of any Christian. So if you call yourself a Christian, you can't be prejudiced, period. 
And even though you say, well, what about things that God doesn't like? Well, that doesn't include the color of people's skin. But if it's about a sin, just remember you have yours too and be very slow to jump on a certain group that you think sins more than you do. And also you really need to pray before you address issues like that because it may not be your place. God may not have that for you to be the one to do that. So just, you have to be careful that it's God. So anyway, I don't know how I got on the subject. Speaking of which, I have a pepper spray, this little pink pepper spray. For if ever I'm going somewhere by myself and I'm thinking, mm, questionable and I might need protection. Like honestly, if I go to a place like a Walmart or someplace like that, the parking lots have not proven to be the most safe places. So I do have that just in there in case I really need it. Uh, always think twice before you pull those things out though. Okay, so I don't really know why all this is in here. Because I have this in my, both my cars. So, but this is, you know, I do want to keep in case I'm ever somewhere and realize, well, I need to um, plug up my phone. Um, a hairspray, which that's not typically very heavy. My Hydra Beauty Mist, which actually I could use some right now. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Hydra Beauty Mist from Chanel. It's just, ex it's expensive, but it's not that heavy. So where's the weight? Really, where's the weight? Um, I keep a compact for the mirror and also it's my favorite blush. Chanel number 02 Rose Bronze. So I keep that. Uh, I keep my tissues. I keep a little hair, um, a rubber band around this little mirror. This has a mirror and a brush to do your hair. And I'm going to keep the um, tissues right next to that. Uh, in another pouch, I keep more of these. I keep those kind of in this little back pouch back here. And then also the very back pouch is any kind of papers that I need to take care of, you know, like a bill or something like that or something I need to mail. Is there anything else? Oh, I've got an eyebrow. This is uh, Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim, and I think this is in brown. It's uh, 257 medium brown because you never want to be somewhere and not have your brows on. And I don't think I've combed through my brows even though I already did them today, so I need to come through. Always come through because that takes some of the color back down, and if you overdo it, you need to do that. And also it gets your little hair standing up so that it looks more natural. But I do like that having that and then having, um, I don't know why I have this too because I've already got the TARDIS, but this I really love and this is the um, L'Oreal Infallible Matte Matic in Black. It's, it's as good as the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof um, Liner. It's that good. So I'll keep it in here even though I've got the TARDIS. And it's not the heavy, so whatever. Um, I'm trying to think. There's nothing else in here except, okay, this. All right, so in here, this is kind of my catch-all bag. And it has sweet and low. It has earrings, earring backs. It has um, little nail files. If somebody says, do you have a file? I never share nail files. Um, um, so I give one away. These are little short ones. You can buy a packet. It looks like it's a little matchbook. Do you want me to open this so you can see what I'm talking about? See, it's like a little matchbook. And you can give them away to friends. And that's what you should do. You don't want to share your skin. Not share your skin with another person. That's gross. That's like sharing mascara. You just don't do it. Um, it, says, it says matchbook files. And I think I got this at the drugstore. I also have a baby size um, measuring tape. Look, it's so cute. But so many times you need to measure something. Um, a little pair of scissors. That I got this. I don't even know. It's so old, but just a little pair of scissors. I think I have another little small pair of scissors somewhere, but it's just a way if I need to cut uh, something real quick. Uh, salt, pepper, sweet and low, and stevia, and Neutrogena. This one, the little individual wipes that I got a little pouch full, and I just always, once I use this, I, and I put it back in. Those are good to have. I'm sorry. Once I use one of these up, I go to my pouch and pull out another one. It comes with about 25, I think, in the pouch. You can get right next to the the big pack they've got the individual packs now and this is just actually this was at one of those um testers that i cleaned out real good with soap and water and this is where i keep a bunch of little earring backs can you see them because it never felt you see somebody in their earrings half out i'll say your earrings coming out do you have an earring back on that and if they say no i'll say well let me give you one or you're gonna lose your earring um and then of course a baby size uh, this is the naked bee orange blossom and honey 
hand and body lotion. So I love having a little tiny lotion with me, a hair barrette's in there. And I guess that's it. So let me put all that back in there. So that's just kind of one of those, yeah, it's kind of like, why do you have that? <laughs> And you know what? I just realized why sometimes I keep this. But I'm going to keep this down by the door. Don't care. Uh, if you're going to ride with someone else and you realize when you get in the car they have a different kind than you do and you need, and you need to say, can I plug up my phone real quick? It's dying. You'll have one of these with you. So I will put that down by the door in case. I, but I'm not going to carry it. Because those little things add weight. All this little stuff adds weight. So let me just... This is just a snack baggie. It's Star Wars, I believe. <laughs> but I like these little size snack baggies because you can put little stuff in them. That's where I had the pens. But I just realized I have a pouch right here for the pen. So I don't need this little pouch of pens. You know what I mean? It's just, it's overkill. It's too much. Where's that little? I'm going to put that one in there. Oh, this has highlighters. But I don't really need to highlight when I'm out. If I go to church, maybe. But right now we're doing church from home. Okay, so what lightened that up so much? One thing is this is a very heavy wallet. And I love this wallet. It's my little Louis Vuitton wallet. And if you can see, it's got my initials and the little, I chose the poodle with the little uh, packages. Um, I chose Aloha, and I think it's so weird they put it under this flap. See that? But it is very heavy. It's just got, you know, cards, money. But it's heavy, so I'm wondering if that was it. And also a jewelry pouch of things I need to go get fixed. And that's it. So that's my what's in my purse. And now I'm going to be doing the openings of things that I said I was going to be opening. Okay. <laughs> I guess I could transfer this stuff over because that 